guys, Yoda here from RC Skunk Works along with Chad on the camera from Extreme Hobby in Tingalfa, Brisbane, Australia. We're here at my little bit messy workshop today just to put the A4 together. We've been, uh, been waiting, this, uh, waiting on this beautiful aircraft to turn up for a shop demo. So we're going to put it together today here in my workshop, go out and fly it and then speak mainly about the setup and the flying characteristics how to get the most out of this aircraft. There's already some build threads out there on YouTube and the internet. It's super simple. If you really, if you can't get this girl together without you know, lots of issues, maybe you shouldn't be at this level yet in your flying. So I don't upset anyone, but seriously, there's only about 10 screws in it. There's very little gluing. It's all very basic and it does come with good instructions, guys. The free wing range, is a very simple, robust thing to put together. So today we won't go into the detail of the build, but we will go into the detail about flying, the CG, what batteries we use, and the sort of performance you can expect. It's up to you guys, as well as being pilot in command, to ensure that your aircraft is safe for flying. So obviously test servos, test linkages, set your aircraft up well before you go out to your maiden, because this thing will travel it upwards of 200 kilometers an hour. It's going to be three kilos, so it's a missile. So get it right, guys. It's a simple build. Let's get on with it. Let's get to the flying field and do the real stuff, the flying, which we love. Good one. Hey guys, Yoda here from RC Skunk Works ADP along with Chad on the camera from Extreme Hobby in Australia. We're down the flying field testing the A4 Skyhawk from Freewing. It's an 80 mil job, beautiful little jet, we've had a lot of fun. Had three flights so far and found it to be a very, very simple aircraft to fly. It's quite light wing loading, I think, uh, haven't weighed it, but it'd be around the three kilo flying weight. So it's got good power to weight. Good wing area, even though it's got short wings, it's quite a Quite a large amount of wing area. And it's just an all round easy aircraft to fly. We're flying it at low rates at the moment, probably slightly less than what was recommended in the, in the uh, manual. And it just gives a nice scale, smooth appearance. We did put a free wing gyro in it and it's really nice. So we'll go for a fly and then we'll have a little talk about it afterwards. I've got full ordnance on for this flight and a 5200 um, six cell battery in it. It's only a light battery, it's probably only about a 25C battery, so it is copping a, a fair bit of ampage through it and it's getting quite warm, but it's handling it okay. Slight crosswind from my, almost my back at the moment, and uh, we'll just go for a quick fly. Got the timer set for three minutes, we'll just keep it straight on the runway, wings level, slowly throttle up, keeping it straight, full power now. Lift off the ground, wheels up, little crosswind giving it hell. Nice scale, take off and climb out. Come back for a low pass. I've got 30% expo on the aileron, 20% on the elevator, and 40% on the rudder, and it's all working beautifully. It's just so easy to fly. Small inputs necessary. Nice roll rate, still plenty in the tank. Come back through for a low pass. Not bad vertical when you get it going. Elevator's got great feel to it. Flies inverted quite easily too, with very little down elevator needed. So I think the CG settings is perfect. An all round beautiful looking jet. It's got a nice sound to it in the air too. Looks good with the ordnance too.
very smooth on the controls this thing it's dialed in beautifully I'll go through that full setup with everyone shortly but plenty of power there confident little jet this. Easy to transport. Undercarriage is beautiful on it. It actually, the main gear retracts and twists. It's really good. I'll come around. I'll set up a little bit early for a, uh, for a landing. I'll come through. We'll get the undercarriage down. We'll go into circuit. Undercarriage coming down. One stage of flap, I won't use two stages with uh, ordnance on because it does contact the ordnance. So, single stage of flap. Come around. No need to do big circuits with this guy. Very high alpha, it just holds that nose up so beautifully. What a great jet. A lot of fun to fly. I'll just taxi it back for you guys. That was three minutes set on the timer. I'm consistently getting three and a half, three minute flights and somewhere around the 25 to 30 percent left in the 5200 battery. But like I say, it's only a very low C rated battery this one. You could do a lot better. There she is. That suspension working beautifully as you can see. Not the smoothest of strips, but that's Australia for you. Love it. Great job, Free Wing. Guys, jump out and buy one of these from Extreme Hobby and Tim Galpa. You'll have a lot of fun.
Hey guys, we've uh, had two test flights already with the beautiful A4. We tried without ordnance to start with, so we're just going to clip the ordnance on. How easy is it? The inboard rails stay on there, they're glued on. Magnetic for the drop tanks. Bang, she's on. And the missiles, basically, typical free wing, locate the key and push back. Okay, probably running out of hands here, Chad, but. Okay, and push back. <laughs> I think idea. you might need a few more hands there, mate, but hands, I think but we've got the idea. Yeah, they just locate and push. Fantastic. There we go. On. All right, guys, that's it. As you can see from Yoda there, that is easy to um, to assemble the ordnance on the aircraft and have it ordnance ready for flight. Okay, guys, we've done the testing of the beautiful A4 from Freewing. 80 millimeter fan, plenty of power as you'll see with the flying video we just put together. Uh, I've had four flights so far, no issues whatsoever. Haven't had to fix anything, change anything. Slight little bit of trim change, just one aileron slightly in the air. It was about three clicks on the uh, trim on the radio. It really helps when you set it up on the bench to get everything nice and level. Make sure your CG is right and it just flies straight out of the box. So I'll just show you what it looks like inside. There we go. Chad, if you can move over here, mate. Um, we did put a free wing gyro in it, as I said before. It's working beautifully on very, very low settings, very low on the ailerons, about 30%. Elevator, similar, and rudder at about 40%. So uh, it just helps smooth it all out in those rougher conditions. It is very light wing loading at only about three kilos great performance so what I found is low rates is where you want to be flying it you don't really need to go to high rates we actually backed off the low rates recommended for free wing just slightly so we went to about 5% uh, less than what they said I've put 30% expo on the ailerons just to soften them out and 20% on the elevator which still gives it really nice feel 40% uh, on the rudder it all works beautifully Suspension, the undercarriage is handling this very rough ground, no problem at all. Uh, it's handling a 5200 battery. I reckon you could easily stick a 6000 in there and you'd get quite a, quite a good flight time out of it. We're consistently getting three minutes, three and a half minutes out of it and still getting 30% left in the battery. In the build, we found just one or two little things which I want you to make, be aware of. The spar, the main spar that goes through at the front, uh, through the wing, it's the, it's the large one that goes right through the fuselage. If you locate it all the way into one wing and then assemble everything, you'll find that it's about one centimetre short on the other wing. I would suggest line it up in the fuse, measure either side, a dab of CA on it to make sure it is centralised, and then put your wings on. They do say glue the other spars, which are your locating spars. That's fine, there's a separate spar on each wing. Locate them, glue them, that's all good. And then the wing goes together beautifully, do your screws up, you don't need to do anything else. It just works. So just watch that central spar, make sure you get it centralised in the fuselage first, and you'll be fine. Uh, CG wise, we had no issues whatsoever. The battery tie on this one from the factory was up the front. I believe that's where it should be. It should be closer to the front, the battery. I've got it all the way forward. And it actually lines up beautifully on the CAG, which is 195 mil from the start of the wing where it plugs on. And it works out to be somewhere in the order of these little dimples on the wings here. Anywhere around that spot there, it's quite CAG numb. It's not super critical, critical, but get it around about where those little marks are on the wings there. You'll find it'll fly beautifully. Look, as far as flying goes, you'll see the way the, the aircraft flies on the video. It's really nice and um, smooth on the controls. It, it's not yippy, it, it's got a really nice feel in the aileron. If you really want to push the aileron with that 30% expo, it'll rotate very, very fast, but you can also keep the rolls very slow and scale. The elevator's got great feel, as you'll see with the landings. It holds the nose up beautifully at high alpha. It hasn't got a ten tendency like some F-16s to really push the nose up and start floating down the strip. This just holds it keep settling in and landing um, it's just very very easy to fly I found that your landing approach from short final 
if you get everything set up nicely, you can come right off the power, it glides in, you don't have to use power at all. It's just got a really nice wing loading about the whole machine. It's a winner guys, I really recommend this machine. It's a, it's a lovely machine to fly, looks great in the air, it's stable, and I think uh, yeah, it's gonna sell extremely well around the world. It's excellent, so thanks Chad for the opportunity to fly it. Our pleasure Yoda, thanks for uh, showing us all your your brilliant flying skills and your input on this amazing jet. We look forward to uh, showing all our followers. Great, thank you. See you guys.